worst fears have come to pass. The One Ring has revealed itself. And as the Fellowship prepares for its perilous journey to Mount Doom, the shadow of Sauron stretches forth to reclaim it. In ages long past, the Witch King gathered a dark army in Angmar. Once again, he calls a vast horde from the depths of Kandum to march upon the lands of Middle-earth and lay them to waste. Aragorn and I hoped the rangers alone could hold back the Witch King's advance, and that Angmar's strength had not yet grown too great. We were wrong. unite the free peoples of Eriador and inspire them to stand against Sauron. For if you do not oppose the army of Angmar, then all the lands of Middle-earth will fall forever into darkness and shadow. War is at hand. The time is now. A chance encounter with brigands upon the road leads to captivity. You awaken with the ranger Strider before you. As he urges you to act quickly, you realize you have become involved in matters much greater than yourself. Alright, so this is my character. I'm going to be playing a burglar in this playthrough. So that'll be quite fun. It's definitely one of my favorite classes in the game, if not my favorite. Uh, one of the things I like about the burglar is the ability to kind of sneak through all of the uh, opponents in game. So it's a lot of fun uh, for that reason. And uh, also I'm playing as a man, and my title currently is of Breland, because we're going to be playing through parts of Breland. So let's go up to the man right in front of the Strider. It says, hurry, we must hasten if we are to make our escape. So let's follow Strider. Brigand guards are attacking. Brigands, be gone! Enough! So it says, search the satchel for weapons. Okay. Let me actually make my quest tracker a little bit bigger in the UI. Put it up to 90. Seems good. There we go. So let's open the satchel. And we should get scaled gear, right? Yep, we have uh, two knives. So let's go with two knives. Uh, here we go. The scaling is different now. You must test your will to fight. Okay, let me make sure my camera does not cut off the, uh... Must... Must... Yeah, let me actually make my camera a little smaller. Hold on a minute. There we go, that seems good to me. Okay. You are not the only prisoner here, friend. My fellow Amdir and I have come to rescue a hobbit. But it turns out he is not the hobbit we have been tracking. This escape will be dangerous for us all, and I know that a great evil lurks here. I have heard of its movements, and I can feel its presence. Do you know how to fight? You should get practice with me to get a feel for that weapon. Right, let's take him up on his offer. Prepare yourself to practice combat with Strider. Get set. <laughs> you must make haste. More enemies will come soon. So let's talk to Strider. Well done. Let us press on. Well done. Your skill in battle is most impressive. Now listen closely. I will need your help getting out of here. When we leave this jailhouse, the real battle will begin. I also got a new microphone as well. I don't know if you noticed, but it's really cool. Mainly because it's on like a stand and everything. So if I place something on the desk, the sounds is a lot better. It sounds a lot better and uh, definitely works. 
Looks like there's a couple of dead brigands on the floor there. That's fun. Right, Strider. Here is where we must part ways. Here we must part for a time, Gold. You should free the two innocent hobbits also being held captive here. Kellandine Brandybuck and Mundo Sackville Baggins. I must search for signs of the Servant of Mordor and learn what I can of his connection to the Black Bolts. Amdir, my fellow ranger, is making a safe path for us. He will be waiting for us at the main gate. Free Kellandine first. It is Mundo they want alive, but they have mistaken him for someone more valuable. When you have both hobbits safe, uh, seek Amdir at the main gate, and then we make for Arjit where we will find safety. Find Kellandine beyond that gate. Find me after uh, you have saved her. Alright. Oh, jeez. Got a friggin' right in front of us now. Not anymore. That's good news. You think you can save her, can you? I have failed the Black Bolt. You will not get past me. I definitely did get past you, my friend. You don't scare me. Take that, stinking thief. Hello there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was starting to worry that this little misadventure would be the end of me. These brigands are appalling folk. Uh, my friend Mundo is nearby, I think. We must save him as well. The brigands have been saying terrible things. We'll need a distraction, and I know just what to do. Just need a bit of flame. And a place to put it. Uh oh. That should get their attention. It also might kill us, Kellandine. Follow me. Alright. I hope their plan works. Maybe it's just so we get the gate open. Don't you move one curled hair, Hobbit. There he is. Oh, there he is. Fire! Fetch water quickly. <laughs> you will learn not to mess with the Black Rider. <laughs> the Black Rider will finish you. It's about time you got here. It's about time, was I expected to, to rescue myself? Come on, you big clodpole, get me out of here before those ruffians return. They want to sell me off like a sack of potatoes. Back! Go back to the shadow, fallen king! You have no power over me, but soon I shall have power over you. Yeah. Oh. I'm dear. Ah, the halflings, which is the Baggins promised me. Accursed flames, may you all... The Dunadan will suffice for now. May you all burn. Spawn. You will not harm these folks. Thank you, Strider. I will have my revenge, Wraith. Gomes have come quick. Alright. Let's talk to Amdir. Good, the hobbits are out of danger. I am glad. Do not concern yourself with me. The greatest danger has passed. The Nazgul fear those who wield fire. Oh, no. I regret that I was but a moment too late, but all is not lost. Alas, I am too late. Amdir has been pierced with a Morgul blade. This does not bode well. We need to leave this place at once. Alchet is nearby and will serve as a good resting place while Amdir recovers. Quickly, follow me. Wounded by a black rider, the ranger Amdir is escaped with his charges into the wild, making his way back to the village of Archit. There, Captain Brackenbrook, a retired sellsword, has allowed Strider and his companions to stay and take respite from their cares. That was nice of him, especially since the people of Bree are typically suspicious of uh, rangers, among others. And I can make it a little larger. Thank goodness you're awake. That fellow on deer seems very ill. You're awake, Gormson. Thank goodness. You were exhausted after what happened last night, but that ranger got us all safe to Arjit in the end. I am terribly worried for his friend. Amdir looks so very ill. You can check on him if you like. He's just over there to the west of where I am standing. 
You see him there across the lane? A poor dear ranger. He was so brave last night. I do hope that Strider can help him. I don't have any experience with such violent wounds. I haven't had breakfast yet. This is intolerable. First kidnapped and now starved. I do not like the big folk one bit. What a sack of wagons. Definitely Lobelia's relative. Do not trouble yourself on my account. Uh, it is only a chill. So you were awake last, at last, Gordon. You earned your rest. But you fought bravely last night. Uh, as for myself, I found no peace in slumber. The blade of the Black Rider pierced only my shoulder, though not deeply. I am chilled, but it is no matter. Thank you for your concern, but it is for Strider, whom I fear. He is charged with a great task, but he tarries for my sake, and for Argent's. Amdir assures you he is well, but he is deathly pale and trembles with chill. Look not to me, but to Strider. It is he who needs your help today. Ah, there are too many deeds to be done. All pressing, and none of them easy. Hail, Gormson. Amdir is right. I am torn asunder. I do not wish to leave him in this state, and Argent must be warned that the Black Wolves mean to raid the town. But I should be seeking a different Baggins right now. Perhaps you can help, my friend. Captain Brackenfield will not heed my warnings. Uh, let's go. Oh. Perhaps you can help, Gormson. The people of Argent will be in great danger when the Black Wolves execute the plan we witnessed last night. The captain here, a man named Brackenbrook, does not like my look and will not heed my warnings. Pray, speak to him on my behalf and see if you can rouse him. Every moment I spend here is a moment in which my true charge plunges blindly nearer into unfathomable peril. The Black Rider you saw last night seeks a Baggins, and our friend Mundo is not the one. I know the Baggins. I am worried for Amdir and worried for Archit, but I must find the real Mr. Baggins before the Black Riders do. Brackenbrook is a fool to risk the doom of his people on his dislike for my looks. Sounds jealous to me, I don't know. Let's take a... Take a shot with Brackenbrook. Oh, specialization. Let's see, what do I want to do? Damage over time and chance. Applies and removes tricks to hinder foes. Uh, crit chain unlocks on evades. Plus two stealth. Let's go with uh, the gambler. I think that would be good. So let's do stealth and combat stealth speed. I think that'd be right. If combat stealth speed ever actually kicks in, which who knows. But uh, let's go with that. And I think I have virtues as well, right? So let's go with the one we want to gain. I think I want to gain offensive virtues first. Uh, before I do anything else, or maybe what should I go for? Resistance, physical, physical mitigation. Let's go with. Let's go with wit. Seems good right now. Uh, I don't like the look of those rangers one bit. Did you wander in here last night with those rangers? I do not like the look of those fellows one bit, but I let them stay on account of the pale one's wounds. You say the Black Wolves mean to attack us, but I do not believe it. Not without proof, those brigands have always been about. They are an unruly lot, but not murderous. I'll not be attacking them without good reason. You must. Talk to folks around town and get their opinions. If they are on your side, I'll consider the Rangers' warning. Captain Brackenbrook does not believe the Black Wolves are a threat. Oh, there's somebody in the window up there. That's cool. There's a guy playing a loot for, uh, is that a cat? <laughs> That's cute. Uh, what else do we have here? Anakins? Wait, so how much are these outfits? These are 50 mithril coins for like stuff like this? Huh. Some of them actually look pretty cool to be honest. At some point, I do actually want to check stuff like this out, because I actually really like that concept. And I might buy it, because look at how many mithril coins I have. See? So that would probably be good. Uh, don't be silly, the Black Wolves are a harmless sponge. And I think I already know her opinion, the grocer What is this world coming to? If Captain Brackenbrook says we're safe, then we're safe. He's always done a fine job at protecting our village. Why would the Black Wolf Wanderers suddenly attack us now? Who else do we have to go see? This guy just sitting on the porch. Is he smoking a pipe? 
Come on, you guys should have given him a pipe. That'd be really cool. Uh, nobody's here to say bless you, so, uh, bless me. There you go. That, I, does that work? You could do that? Alright. How can I be of service? I see that your friend is wounded, and I hope it was not the Black Wolves that did it to him. I truly trust Captain Brackenburg, for he has always kept us safe since he took charge of Archit. I won't argue with the captain, but I will help the injured fellow in any way I can. That's nice of you. Greetings. At least somebody kind of likes us. Uh... What do I have here? Weapon auras and stuff. Let me just lock these. Be yeah, alright. And let's go over to the last guy, Constable Thistle Bowl. Unless there's anything else to see around here. Oh, just him. Greetings, friend. Maybe he knows, because he's in charge of security. Ah, the captain won't let no harm come to Archit. Oh, maybe. Maybe he isn't aware of the security threat. They must be really good at, like, uh, hiding their new alliance, I'm guessing. With whatever that Black Rider was. You think that the Black Wolves mean to attack us? Don't be absurd. They harbor no love for us, but they haven't a leader, and they fight more among themselves than they do with outsiders. They couldn't raid a squirrel nest, let alone our town. <laughs> Constable Thistlewall believes Archit is safe from danger. So we're probably not going to be able to get through to him. Alas for peaceful folk everywhere. It is an enormous task to convince them that evil people with evil intentions will commit evil deeds. That's true for the world, too. It seems that I cannot leave yet. Amdia needs my help, and I have pressing work to do in Archit to get these people ready for the impending storm. If you help me, perhaps I can leave before tonight. Before you try to fight, you must learn what skills you may from the trainer. There is much to do when you are new to this world of danger. As long as you wish to help Archit, it is most important that you hone your skills as a burglar. Okay. So I think this is just the trainer quest. So in every class, there's a test where I think you use one or more of your skills at one of these people. So <laughs> ours is Fast Red Burrows, the burglar trainer. Stay and have some tea. They made an update where you don't actually need to go to your trainer to get skills anymore. But the purpose of going to is to basically good day get certain class quests done. So uh, let's see. Critical chance? Let's go with critical chance. With the dagger. And I'll make these cosmetically my daggers as well. Ah, no, they still look a little rusted. I was hoping to get something a little different than that, but oh well. Anyway, that's fine for now, I guess. Let's go tell Strider we did the quest. Most of them are pretty easy. Do you feel confident in what you have learned? Have you learned some new tricks of the burglar? I can see that you're more confident now. Um, dear, my poor old friend. A shadow has crept over him. Uh... Amdia, um, my poor old friend, a shadow has crept over him. The black rider that stabbed him is more fell than any creature you will meet on your travels. We have little time, and we must stretch what time we have by doing two things at once. Amdia um, needs medicine, Gorms, and quickly. You know of a plant called Kingsfoil. It has great power to heal. You should ask Captain Brackenbrook if he knows of any that grows in these parts. Offer him, offer him assistance as well, if it does not take you far out of the way. You must begin to work on him, and perhaps he will look more kindly upon you after you do him a good deed. That would work on me, honestly. Do something good for somebody, you're like, yeah, you know, you aren't all bad, right? <laughs> I don't like the look of those rangers one bit. King's Forer, eh? Tis a nice leafy plant that grows around Bronway's Folly, a ruin south of here. Help yourself to as much as you'd like, we've no use for it. And as for your offer of assistance, I will take you up on it. We are always in need of able hands, and you might as well earn your keep while you stay with us. My best man, Counter Cobb, is having trouble with wolves of late. Perhaps you could help him on your way to do your, uh, gardening job for the ranger. Okay, let's do that. So the Archit Vale is out here. One thing that is cool is they allow you to mount up in these old regions of the game now. This used to not be a thing. You used to not be able to use mounts out here. But now you can, so it's pretty cool. 
Uh, and I have the Steed of Bree as my horse. So maybe that's fitting, because we are in Bree land, right? So let's go see what Calder Cobb has for us to do. Well, well. If it isn't the rumor monger. I've heard all about you, Gormson. As you can see for yourself, there aren't no brigands causing problems. It's the wolves that threaten us lately. They seem to have gathered around Bronway's Folly, especially about the top of the ruins. Brackenbrook sent you to assist me, and assist me you shall. I would like you to, you to look into this wolf problem we're having. So I noticed there are a lot of wolves all around here. So let's start uh, taking them out one by one. So, uh, there's another. And I should get a level up after the next one, right? Nice. Let's, uh, see what trait we want. Uh, let's let's do one by one. I think that'd be a good idea. Let's go up with our evade chance. I like this uh, gambler one because I think it focuses on bleeds and also uh, resistances and mitigations. So it's good for soloing, I believe, because you have a... Uh, Yellow line is kind of weird. Yellow line is always unique in every class, but usually red line, like, you're really good offensively, so you take out enemies quickly. But if something's, like, over-leveled in a uh, multiplayer instance, for example, which are kind of like dungeons in this game, you get really wrecked by some of the most powerful enemies, especially areas of effect, right? Uh, and one of the things that are that is really cool about blue line is that some of them actually do have really good offensive capabilities with the gear, but with the blue line itself, it adds a lot of defense. Uh, there's a strange banner atop the stairs here. Oh, I wonder what this is. The Wolfmaster approaches. You must defeat him. <laughs> Galdacob told me you'd be paying me a visit. You'll be sorry for sticking your nose where it don't belong. You've defeated the Black Wolf Wolfmaster. So he knows who Galdacob is, which is quite concerning. You should ask him about that. Is Calder Cobb actually on the side of the enemy, or is he just trying to, like, sabotage us? Uh, that'll be the question that we'll have to ask him. Well, maybe not that way, but... The thing is, Calder Cobb is Brackenbrook's best man, so is he gonna accuse us of lying? Could we raise the concern with him, which I think he might. So, uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. Impossible! A weakling like you defeated the Wolfmaster? How is it you stand before me? A weakling like you defeated the Wolfmaster? Bah! I would kill you myself if that fool Dirk Mudbrick weren't watching. No matter, I do not fear exposure. Brackenbrook will never believe you. He thinks I have served him loyally since I was a lad, the old fool. Tell Brackenbrook whatever you like, but Archit will fall, and I'll make out with more gold than you can fathom. And you... You will die. You will die with the rest if you do not make yourself scarce before tonight. But well, we can't let that happen. <clears throat> I do believe Brackenbrook is right. I mean, uh, sorry, Calder Cobb is right, though, in the sense that Brackenbrook probably won't believe us. But uh, we can hope, right? Just don't trust to hope. As Aomer would say. Calder Cobb is a traitor. Danger has found you earlier than I predicted. Yes, it has. Danger has found you earlier than I predicted. It sounds like Calder Cobb had it in for you before you even arrived. How did he know of you if he was at his post, and how did the Black World know you were coming? Thank you for the risk you took to deliver the King's Foil. I will think upon this riddle while I prepare a salve for Amdia. I cannot decide which is more dangerous right now. Calder Cobb's treachery. Or the ignorance of Captain Brackenbrook. If Calder Cobb is his best soldier, I know Brackenbrook will not believe that he tried to have you ambushed by a Blackbolt. I did some asking around while you were gone, and there is a Blackbolt brigand, a brigand in the stocks across the lane from here. He is being held for highway robbery. You should question him about Calder Cobb. 
I also have armor on another character, by the way, and once I get out of the intro zone, that armor should be of access to me, so that'll be fun. Just wait till the Black Wolves get here, then I'll be free, and you'll be dead. You know Calder Cobb, Otto? Oi! You there! Uh, uh, let me go! Calder Cobb can vouch for me! I read ahead, and it seems like the hunch is correct. Let me go! I'm a friend of Calder Cobb's, and I'm innocent at that. This idiot jailer won't heed me. Otto quiets down, as you tell him you know of Calder Cobb's treachery. So you think you know the plan? Don't be smug, it's too late. By now, the gears of war be turning down in the south. And quick, soon I'll be free, and you'll be the one in shackles. Or worse, to the south, where? And let's ask the jailer. Otto knows that Calder Cobb is involved with the Black Wolves. I taste vengeance on the south wind. Where in the south? That's, maybe Aragorn would have a better idea. Or sorry, not Aragorn, Strider. Right, we're in Bree, so we have to call him Strider. That's correct. Uh, Nick. Greetings. It's good to make your acquaintance, Gormson. I noticed you were questioning Otto. Does that mean that his mutterings have been truthful? Yes, I do believe what you have come to Archer to tell. It is unprecedented, but all signs are showing that the Blackholds mean to attack us. How is it they have the means? If Brackenbrook does not believe you, you may tell him that I do for what it's worth. So we have somebody in our corner, that's good news. How can you say this? Calder Cobb has been loyal to me since he was a boy! That is a serious charge, Gonson. Calder Cobb has been loyal to me since he was a boy. I suppose it would be wise to investigate your claim. Oh, is he gonna let me investigate? That's nice of him. I didn't know if he would. Does Ned speak true of the prisoner? If so, we would be wise to investigate Otto's threat of trouble in the south. I'll not question Caldecob's lifetime of loyalty if there's no truth to back it up. But if you and Ned are right in your suspicion, this will be a very bad situation for us. Hal Sprigley's farm is to the south of here, near the gate to the town of Co. If aught is going on, he'll know. I think that's a good idea, Brackenbrook. Let's see. Oh, two Hobbit quests. Oh dear, looks so changed since last night. I almost feel like he's not but a shadow when I look at him, like he isn't really there. How oh, it makes me shiver. I saw Strider make a salve of king's foil for his wound, but my gamma always used a different remedy when a young brandy buck would get a nasty splinter. Sweet bilberry tea. I smelled bilberries by the water to the east of here as we passed in the night, which means they're in season. I would dearly like to make a tea for poor Amdia. I hope my gamma's tea will make Amdia feel a bit better. It always cheered me up when I was ill. What a kind hobbit. What's the Sackville Baggins gonna say? Probably something unpleasant. But who knows? We might be surprised. We might be surprised. Let's see what he says. I don't have my hopes up, though. Hey! You there! I'm hungry! Hey, you there! Yes, you! Uh, the big one! I'm very hungry! Uh, of course. I haven't eaten since some woman gave me a bit of bread and jam for breakfast this morning. Such fare is hardly meant to feed a rabbit, let alone a full-grown hobbit like me. If you get me proper food, I will reward you handsomely. I want something hearty and delicious. So there are boars in the valley, it seems, so get more of that. What are you still doing here? Are you putting food in my belly right now? Do you have some hidden store of victuals? No? Then get moving, if you please. <laughs> He's definitely one of my favorites to kind of voice act, for sure. Ah, uh, what a... what a jerk. But he's, he's an adorable jerk, because he is just a hobbit after all, you know. Bah, the captain won't let no harm come to Archit. Also, a Sackville Baggins is not like a Frodo Baggins. He poses no real threat to me. So I'll just let him do what he wants, for now. Uh, while this is going on, since we have to go to Cal Sprigley down here, right? At Sprigley's farm. I might as well just uh, head over to the river and collect some of the bilberries and kill a few boars right now instead of waiting. So, I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's go do that. I am going to level cap myself at some points, by the way. Uh, probably around level 15 right now I'll do it. Or, no, nah, I think I'll do it at level 14. 
And the reason why is because there's a novice's mark, which is an item that gives you a plus 10% run speed boost, and I want to utilize as much of that as I can. So if I cut it off at 14 instead of 15, I'll be a level short, right? But at the same time, I will get the benefit of having the novice's mark. And uh, I don't remember exactly where I get that item. I think it's from a barter vendor once we escape the intro zone. But that'll definitely help us because one of the problems is, is that pocket items are not really that common in the lowest levels of the game. Uh, it might have changed, right? That might have changed. If I get one, I will turn off my level cap for just a moment. But uh, I don't think that's true as of now. So we'll see. And before the shadow, that's one thing that I'm going to violate the level rule, mainly because before the shadow gets you to Rivendell, so at the end of the story, which means I'm going to go through that story once I've reached Rivendell, so probably before I do the troll shawls on this playthrough, I'm going to do before the shadow, which I'll be grossly over leveled for, but I mean, at least you know why. And this is the crazy little boy right here, old blood tusks. Now it's dead, Blood Tusk, not ah, old. Sorry to cut your long range short, old Blood Tusk, but uh, I need food. And I don't need any more, I just wanted to kill you because you're a tough enemy, that's all. Nothing personal, if you really think about it. And maybe that's part of the problem, because there's nothing personal. The boar didn't attack me, and I just killed it, so... Maybe that makes things a little worse on my end. <laughs> See here, Cal Sprigley. A stranger, eh? You're the best thing that's happened to us all day. Uh, what does that mean, sir? A stranger, eh? If Black and... If, sorry, if Brackenbrook sent you, I'll take you in. I'm afraid you're the best thing that's happened to us all day. Our best hope is to get help from Cone, our neighbors. They will not let our chat fall to Brigant. I'm glad you're here. Some Black Wolves tried to attack us this morning, but we drove them off. We must get help from Combe, the next town over. It's southwest of here and not more than a short journey away. They must bring their soldiers to Archard at once and help stave off the raid. Please make haste. I fear the Black Wolves mean to attack tonight. The road here is crawling with brigands, but I pray you can make it safe to Combe. So it says, go to Combe to plead for aid. Okay. And who's this? Will Wheatley? Might I take a moment of your time? Uh, my dad and other farmhands, they gave chase to the brigands after the attack on our farm. I don't think the brigands expected us to put up such a fight after they surprised us. There weren't many of them, but I never saw them act so bold before today. Seems they have foreign help. The only problem is they ain't back yet. They ran off to the east chasing brigands into the woods. It was an hours it was hours ago though, and I'm very worried. Could you go look for them and bring them back safe? Sorry, the brigands have foreign help, not you guys. You guys are toast. Uh, soon, which is why it's good that I got there. But, uh, at least Cal will get Brackenbrook's attention once we get back. That is the hope, right? Oh, that doesn't look good. Only gate is blocked. Archid is on its own now. Haha, <laughs> you want the people of Combe to help you? You're afraid of, afraid of the Black Wolves, are you? I suppose my character is, although I'm not. I think I could take all of you, but... For the story to happen, my character must be afraid of many brigands. Even though I've taken out, like, tons of wolves. Which are typically better at hunting and fighting than random men are. But, uh... Let's see. This cannot be! I must write to Brackenbrook at once! Please do, please do. Not! No, it cannot be. My men traveled to Combe only yesterday for a delivery. This is bad news, Gormson. The captain must be informed of what's going on here at once. Here is a note for Brackenbrook. He knows my scroll. He will believe you now. Thank goodness. Oh, I should probably investigate the farmhands, right? The missing farmhands? I guess while I read the note, I'll be dead. Dear Captain Brackenbrook, my farm was attacked by black wolves this morning. They are organized and they are armed. I and a few of my men, uh, managed to stave them off, but something dark is stirring in a way I've not seen before. I've never seen. They caught off the road to Co. You can't get out and no help can come in. Please make yourself ready for all-out war. These are not the ruffians we know. Hell. 
And it looks like Thornton Woodley is dead. Yep, been murdered by Black Wolves. Maybe one of them is alive. Although, looking at that fortress over there and the brigands that are outside it, if they got too close to that place, I don't think there's a good chance of survival for most of them. But that said, let's still make our way over here. And I'm assuming this is a relative of Will back at the farm. Uh, let's fight this lieutenant here. I'm glad it's winter, which means I didn't have to adjust my audio too much to stop the air conditioning from picking up. One thing that's a pain about recording is with air conditioning on, uh, you kind of have to turn it off sometimes or adjust your settings to not pick it up. So uh, that's good news, because it can get hot in here sometimes. What can I do for you? Uh, auto attack, critical hit. Parry. Let's go with parry, because I really don't auto-attack that much, so maybe it isn't as good to have a dagger in my main hand. So... Nah, I'll go with a dagger, why not? I'll get something better later anyway, right? No, it cannot be my poor father and the others. No, it cannot be, it cannot. He was silent for a long moment, his eyes closed, but after a great pause he is roused. I will have my revenge upon those black wolves, or I will die trying. Argent will never fall to such murderous fiends. Uh, I would not recommend doing the same thing your, uh, friends did. The other farmhands. Because it doesn't seem like it'll work in your favor, uh, Will Wheatley. I have to bind this to myself. Why is my cosmetic slot not working on here? Yeah, but it's popping up that way. So what's going on? And now it's not... Okay, hold on. Let me relock. That might fix it. Okay, now let's see if that worked. Okay, finally. That's what I wanted. That's all I wanted. So let's put that in our main slot, and then let's put the tarnished dagger in my right slot, and that'll boost us perfect. And so let's get back on our horse, whose name is Midgewater, against the Priest Steed, and head back into Archit. Hopefully the Black Wolves haven't attacked yet, although the plan seems to be for tonight, I guess, right? Don't want to do it under broad daylight, especially if you're a brigand. And the wraiths are probably better at night too. Which, if you've read Lord of the Rings, you know that that's true. They are like a more spiritual, and the sun interferes with that. Let's do the hobbits. This will do nicely. It gives me something to munch on for a bit, at least. Hooray, you brought me pork or bacon or perhaps sausage. Ha, it doesn't matter. I can make a little of each. Mundo weighs the parcel of meats in his hands. This will give me something to munch on for a bit. Hopefully this provender will last me until I can go back home.
Vitality, that'll boost our health, which is good for every class Vitality is. So that's good news. Lovely! This is sure to cheer Omdia right up! Well done, you have found more than enough for a good strong tea. This is sure to cheer Omdia right up. Give, a, give me a moment and I will steep the berries in some boiling water. The wary? Good. This tea will help Ombir feel better. I just know it. Doesn't the bilberry tea smell delightful? It still reminds me of my camera, who made this for me when I was under the weather, even though my camera is long gone. He was such a dear to collect those wild berries for me, so I shan't be taking all the credit. Why don't he bring this nice brew to Ambdia so he can thank you himself? You make sure he drinks it all. I don't know if that'll help with the Morgul wound, but uh, I guess we should. Quickly now, you mustn't let the tea get cold. I hope it makes him feel better. I thank you, but I have not the stomach to drink uh, this no. now. Well, does that tea smell of bilberries? That was very <laughs> sweet of Gellant. Very good of you to fetch her the makings. I am all the sorrier, for I cannot drink this now. I, I do not feel well enough just now. I will pretend to drink it. You must tell Gellant I enjoyed her tea. Please, do not do not let her know that her kindness was wasted on me. That seems like it backfired. It's not what we want, but I guess it has to be. Amdir only pretends to drink the tea. He looks even paler than before. Amdir's eyes are now closed and he makes no more effort to speak this time. His face is pale as ice. Did my tea perk him up? I knew it would! Bilberry tea always fixes me right up, and I know it would be especially sweet if it came from both of us, Gormson. I know Amdir will be back on his feet soon. He's so brave. Why is it not letting me equip both rings at once? This is strange. I'm having problems with dual wielding items in this game right now. What have I done? As Brackenbrook reads the letter from Cal Sprigley, his face is blank. He reads it a second time, and only then does he look at you. I've been a fool. Oh, what have I done? You cannot fathom just how wrong I have been. You cannot fathom just how wrong I have been. I trusted Calder Cobb and heeded his advice for a long time. Even after my own son tried to warn me of his duplicity. My son John is a worthy hunter, but he has not set foot in this town for over three years. He will never forgive me for the things I said to him. Oh, what a fool I am. I told him he was not welcome in Archit until he stopped behaving like a jealous child. Now he and his hunters are our only hope. But what can I do? He does not deserve to be dragged deeper into my folly. Nay, Archit must withstand this storm without help. Nay, I will not ask John to come to our aid. I am not worthy to ask favors of my son. I will fall with Archit. Do not despair. You have done well. Do not despair, Gormson. You have done well. Indeed, better than I could have done. You gained... You earned Captain Brackenbrook's trust. You must appeal to his son John against his wishes. I must leave soon, and Archit will need all the help it can get if even the father's pride is at stake. I am confident you will be able to bring the hunters in and give this town a fighting chance. In the meantime, I must make haste. Amdir assures me he just needs rest. Uh, you must appeal to John Brackenbrook against his father's wishes. You have proven yourself to be both wise and brave, Gormson. I trust Archit's fate to you in my stead. You have given me a little more peace of mind. So, we have our mission. Let's go over to the south gate of Archit and then head to, I believe, the hunting lodge is where we're going now. So, let's get to the crossroads and turn left. Is that right? Yep, the hunting lodge is this way. Perfect. I also might as well start eating these mushrooms or whatever they are, because I am the biggest culprit of leaving items in my inventory and hoarding them and then never using them, and it's something that you gotta stop doing. Because if I don't use some food once, I'll never use it. 
I know how I am. And there is a secret quest that they believe was only restored for the legendary servers, but it still exists, and has always existed actually, in the main game. Although I think they intended to remove it, so you'll unlock it if you kill this marsh fly game. Ah! And there will be an item that should drop from the Marsh Black Queen in just a moment. And you'll be able to turn it into a hunter named Fenton Marshley over outside the hunting lodge. And uh, let's see what it says. This quest has been restored for legendary servers. That's wrong, it actually never went away. I think they intended to remove it, but the actual quest never got removed at all. So I think they forgot. The markings on the Marshfly Queen are unlike any you have heard of before. Surely someone at the Hunter's Lodge would care to see it. And that would be Fenton Marshfly. What do you need? Well done, Gormson. This is a most peculiar find. This one, this quest here, is an introduction to the Lotro store, so I'm just gonna turn it I presume on. you're here to bring me ill news from town. If you don't know how to use it, it'll kinda just tell you, but the Lotro store is where I get all of my stuff, so I, of course I know how to use it. That's how I got my mithril points. I presume you're here to bring me ill news from town. And you'll be able to figure it out pretty easy if you start playing the game, it's not that hard. Uh, you come from the town, do you? Uh, it's actually to give, I think it's more to give people the riding skill because they added riding into these regions now. These did not have it. I think that's really what it was about, not just about the ledger sword. You come from town, do you? I've been watching from the bounds. The skies have turned dark and fell, and there is a shadow of unrest over all of Argent, over men and beasts and trees alike. Uh, let me guess, my father is not the wisdom to see such things. Let me guess, my father has not the wisdom to observe such things, so you heard of his exiled son and came to me for aid. Come then, out with it, I desire to hear what you have to tell. Calder Cobb has shown his true colors at last. Calder Cobb has shown his true colors at last. I knew him to be evil-hearted, but my father is too trusting. He does not like to think ill of people. His blindness wounded me, but he is a good man. So to answer your question, yes, I will come to Arjit's aid. I and my fellows. I am a hunter and a skilled warrior, trained by my father and captain. I would rather die than sit idly by while foul brigands crash upon a decent peoples. Let us see what there is to see before the storm is upon us. While I gather my warriors and my weapons, we should sneak into the Black World's roost and uncover the plan of attack for tonight. The Black World's roost is south of here, across the lake. You should be able to find plans if you venture around. Just be prepared to fight as you go. So that was the fortress that I saw across the way from the river. And let's make our way over to the Black World's Roost. There it is. That's an old fortress of Arnor, which is the North Kingdom. Uh, kind of like a post-apocalyptic wasteland now up in uh, the northwest of Middle-earth. Because the Kingdom of Arnor was destroyed. So there's these ruins that dot the landscape because of that fact. So that's the kingdom that these uh, fortresses are from. So they aren't just put here for the game, per se. They're here and they don't have to do because Arnor is a key feature of Lord of the Rings. And the hobbits were given the mandate to their land by the king of Arnor. And it seems like they're the only ones that really survived the flood. I mean, Breetown kind of sprung up in the middle of nowhere, too. So somehow Bree survived. But the kingdom did not. And here we go Black Bolt Plans. What do they say? The letter inside the satchel tells that the Black Wolves mean to attack tonight with the Hellfire. Here's for not minded to go to the fans. So you know that intro where it had the Witch King, I guess, or Angmar rising again? Although I don't think the Witch King can actually return to Angmar, so it's probably some other power that we don't know about yet. But uh, regardless of that, it seems that Angmar is actually 
sticking their fingers into the plot already. So, uh, the shadows of Angmar are quite real, it seems. And that means that there's a battle for us to fight. And we've struck once, and we will need to strike back again against Angmar. And there we go. Just equipping my uh, new medium shoulder pads that I got. Work, my friend. Good work, Gormson, and fast too. This will be a great boon to Argent. Now we will be able to counter their efforts with a proper strategy. I believe there is hope for us yet. We only need a strategy. I don't think that helmet fits a burglar, so I'm gonna turn the helmet off cosmetically until we get a different one. But it looks cool anyway. What an excellent find, Gormson. These folk from Angmar sound like evil foes, but at least we know what we are up against. The plans also show a map that points to the old east path. Which is just near here. We all avoid that path save for Artley Spider Bane, a visitor from east of the Misty Mountains. Speak with Artley and learn what he can tell you about the path. We can use the path to our advantage if we manage to successfully scout it. I think Artley's knowledge of the layout of the Old East Path will help us form a plan. Oh, who's this? You've had a long day, friend, and more dangers await. You should take some rest. There is a bedroll just over there you can use. I will wake you if anything happens. This will be a good trailer, I think, for the rest of the series. So let's do that. Oh, may although maybe I should wait, because it said the brigands mean to attack tonight, so maybe I should wait to do this until just before the raid. Seems like a good idea. At your service, and your families. Aye, I know all about the Old East Path. There are spiders everywhere. When you kill one, another takes its place. If we are to make use of the path at all, we should fight our way through and ensure that it is still blocked at the walls of Argent. The spiders will do some work for us against the Black Wolves, and what the spiders don't deal with, we shall come from afore and behind with our axes and our blades, and we will fall upon them like a mighty cave coming down. The East Path is fraught with danger, but in that danger lies hope. Yeah, secret way to get into the town if the Black Wolves, like, lay siege out front, right? Also, or I, for at least Spider Bane. Maybe it got poisoned or something. I am at your service! Keep your wits about, you burglar. Spiders are deadly foes. The reason I didn't stealth is because I wanted to get that attack in a little bit early. And the thing about a burglar is you build critical rating. So if you don't get an attack in a certain amount of time, it will kind of fade. Because there isn't an opening. So it's kind of like, I guess, sparring in real life. You know, if your enemy leaves an arm a little too far down to the right, and you come in and you manage to knock it back further, then you have an opening to kind of uh, then a strike against it a foe in real combat, and I think that's kind of what the burglar focuses on, you know? Sneaky little uh, tactics like that. Like, no, keep that arm over there. You lose a little bit of your grip? Well, I'm gonna take advantage. I think that's what the idea was behind the burglar. Is that, no, mostly critical hits. And a critical hit would be like knocking your foe off balance, which in real life means it's easy to strike them. And uh, since the burglar is a sword class, that's probably what it's inspired by kind of uh, critical rating attacks openings. Although I don't know, it could just be random. The brigand scout met his doom at the end, at the dead end on the old east path. So with Spider Bane, you know, given his name, 
We should be able to get through that path. To go and uh, help the defenders of Archit. But it seems the Black Wolf Brigands cannot. <laughs> and there will be an opening in the East Wall for us that won't be open for them. So let's go talk to John. A dead end will surely work in our favor. That is good news. A dead end when the end of the path will work in our favor. The brigands will be slowed and they will have the spiders at their heels and the hunters will come from behind while the soldiers attack at the head. I will go to Archer to rally them and ready them for the storm that awaits them tonight. Okay, now let's take a nap before the attack begins. The bedroll is more comfortable than you expected, or perhaps you're more tired than you realize. That's probably it. You close your eyes and before long you are lost in dreams. Listen to my words. I am Galadriel, the Lady of the Golden Wood. Do not be afraid, my friend. Your people are short-lived, but the fate of Middle-earth is yours to command. I will not long disturb your sleep. I can visit you in dreams for only a short time. I have looked into my mirror and seen much that worries me. Let me show you. Doom, one of my favorite instances in the base game for sure. That is a neat perspective. I have seen lighted windows in the evil city of Kandu. The dread land of Angmar stirs. Shadows once stretched forth from Angmar to threaten Middle Earth. Fear they will again. Is that a ranger over there? And that's not the Witch King, so uh, that would make sense. The Bridge of Keza Doom in Moria. Oh no, is this gonna be the Balrog from the movies? And books, of course. Looks like the Fellowship. My mirror shows me much else I do not understand. There's the Hobbits, Leg Legolas Gimli, and Boromir, I guess, is up front. And then Gandalf should be on the bridge, right? It's pretty cool. This may come to pass, or none of it. That is the nature of my mirror's power. What's next after that? Rohan. All of Middle Earth is endangered by the return of Sauron. Men, elves, dwarves, wolves, all three folk must stand together. There must be Grima on the right, Theoden on the throne, and Aelin right there. You are near to wakefulness. The last tendrils of sleep will soon release you. You ask why I wanted to show you this? It is for one reason. I saw you in my mirror, not once or twice, but often. Whether you desire it or not, your fate is tied to that of Middle Earth.
do not forget my words when you awaken. The free peoples of Middle-earth will have need of you. You must not fail them. What an excellent trailer for the series. And it'll automatically let us leave the instance. Hopefully, yep. Good news. Um, although the fact that it was an elf is very suspicious. Elf magic. Maybe we shouldn't tell the hunter. That sounds a most curious dream. I never have dreams like that, friend. I would not wish to have such. Well, I guess we can't control it, right? Quickly! Oh, hold on. Quickly, Calder Corb is making his move against Argent, and wicked men of Angmar are lending him and the Black Bolt's strength. Uh, we must go to the town's defense at once. Return to me when you are prepared. Are you ready to go? Very well. Okay, now it's time to finish the introduction for men. And John save Brackenbrook the town of Argent and his hunters blade. have reached the outskirts of Argent to find it already ablaze. A desperate struggle to save their village is about to begin. Hopefully, you have arrived in time. Look out, they see us! Oh. What, where? Ah. They've spotted us, we move now. We have no time to lose. There is not much time to lose, already the town burns. We have only a short time to rest here before they see that we have broken through the east wall. I fear we are less safe by the moment. We must help my father. Oh. Poor Ned's done for! Ah. Why did he lock we must him? save Ned! Enough <laughs> Oh no. Also, Peg was his wife, right? She's the one that offered to help the Rangers. That's what Jay made us. Well done, folks. I can't move. Amdia. Amdia is close by. He escaped the slaughter at the Badger. You have to help him defend the Badger. Those black wolves want the hobbit, and and the captain. I I saw something in the flames. Go after them. You must save them. <coughs> Ned, no. Do you have a quest ring? We need to find a way to the badger. The black wolves are attacking every corner of town. Quickly, go find Amdia and end these black wolves. Leave me with my forehead. Our chat must still be saved! Calder Cobb and Otto's treachery were just the beginning of the battle, I fear. You must find a way to the Mad Badger Inn. Peg has left us a way into the marketplace. Perhaps there is a way in through there. Follow me. Let's make sure the marketplace is safe, Thornton. Come with me. Ah! Looks like this way there is There are more up ahead! We need to find a way. I'll serve you up to skunk with friends, man. Who's skunk? Is that a brigand leader that I don't know about yet? Maybe. But find that out later. We must find my father before it's too late. Fight well, Gonson, but I fear the worst is yet to come. The marketplace is safe for now, but we must press on. If we tarry too long, we will lose all of Argent. We must find another way to the center of town. Now we should secure the crafters area. Come. Those black-hearted fiends have laid waste to our town. I hope we are not too late. Look! Hartley is ahead! All must not be lost! Well met, friend. Is the crafting hall safe? A group of black wolves entered that building yonder not long ago, John. Together, surely we can take them and reclaim this area. Well then, let's not tarry. We must save our town. Oh. The crafters area burst into flames. It doesn't really give you enough time to read some of this stuff, otherwise, you kind of minimize by it. There's one editor for that. Our friends from the north are now. Too bad that you won't be around for that happen today. We must brace ourselves for the worst. Although the mad badger burns, I still hold out hope. We have fared well, my friend, but all might be lost nonetheless. We have protected the market square and the crafters area. Already the mad badger burns. Perhaps my father is still alive, but I hold little hope. Follow Artley and me. We will defend what is left of this town to the death if we must. We are almost there, my friend. My father is still alive. I know it.
Uh oh. Maybe, at least they can't get in, right? No, maybe they can. Who knows? Father! I knew you would survive! I am alive, son, but I grow weary from the fight. Does Argent fall now? Have I been a fool? This is not the time for blame. We must look only to defending those who count on us for safety. I agree. I will guard the hobbits and the injured man. Can you keep the attackers at bay? They approach! Defend us! We don't have a choice. We better. Alright. Let's begin. <laughs> Archie, uh, what is it, John Brackenbrook? This is a battle, but that's pretty cool. Maybe Skunkle shouldn't have made a deal with those foreigners. Yeah, Skunkle must be the leader, right? You get what you deserve, man. There is no more time for games. We come for the ranger. What have you done, Calvacor? What have you become? <laughs> You've always been blind where I'm concerned, Captain, but perhaps you begin to understand me. All I know is that you betrayed your home and your peoples. You should be ashamed. Enough talk. Amdir is now a servant of Mordor. Come to the dark. Yes, Master. No, oh, I'm dear, don't go with them. Calder Call, finish what you came to do. Gladly, I will have the power in Archer now, Brackenbrook. Father! No! You're gonna die for that, Calder Call. Let's get him. Forget the others, I just want him gone. There we go. Die, Calder Call. What a misery has befallen us. My father was right to trust no one. Hopefully Archer can rebuild, right? This is a sad day indeed. Archer is burned, my father is dead, and the ranger was taken by evil men. If men may get me called. I don't think they were men, I think they're wraiths or something. Now all we could do is wait for the flames to die down. Then, with luck, we may begin to rebuild our whole town. What tragedy has befallen us this night? But we defeated the Blackwold Menace. I think it will be long ere they grow so bold again, with or without the help of evil masters from Angmar. With the Blackwold's attack foiled, the people of Archit have begun to rebuild. Yet not all hurts are so easily mended. The fate of the Ranger Amdir remains uncertain and may have dire consequences for Breland. But hope remains that he may yet be saved. Let's hope we can save Amdir. I mean, the Morgul Blade is probably, like, the worst thing that can happen to somebody, but who knows, we might get lucky. There is much to be done if we are to rebuild the town. What do you need? The loss of my father is a painful one, but my pain is no greater than any other here in Archit. The people of Archit regard you as a hero, and I agree with them, Gormson. Without your quick thinking, we would have lost more lives. You were the one who faced down the evil men and drove them and many of the Black Wolves from the woods surrounding our town. We owe you much. It is good to know that the grim dark growing across the land will have such fierce adversaries as yourself. But we should be able to get mail now, right? Aha! I got my armor! Perfect. I'm not able to use it yet, of course. But, uh... I mailed myself some really nice leather armor. And from John, a letter of commendation. Greetings, I have written a letter on your behalf. Others in Archard collected what they could to give to you and made a nice present of it. Make certain to get the letter, read it, and then take it to Constable Thistlewall in Archard or Postman Newbuck in Little Delvin. You remain in the hearts of the people of Archard. Respectfully, John Brackenbrook. One thing I do want to make sure I get is the VIP rewards once we finish with this stuff. Wrapped horse whistle I don't need. Uh, what's this? Crafting? Set that. Uh, writ of Special Passage unlocks Swift Travel if you don't have a subscription, but I do, so I'm gonna not need that one. And I think that's most of it. Okay. Look Could I speak here. with you a moment? As we prepared for the Blackwall assault and stood at the defense of Archit, many of the good folks of this town perished, both within the gates and beyond. 
The battle was great, but in the end we defeated the brigands' onslaught. Some of the good men who were lost still remain unburied, but the people of this town have their hands full with their own great losses. It would be to our shame if those unburied bodies were dishonored by the wild beasts. I would ask this one last favor of you, friend. Seek out those poor men and grant them honor in death. Dirk my brick fell at the sheep farm southwest of Archit. Eight Whisperwood died defending the Hunter's Lodge, and Cal Sprigley's farmhand, where we they perished in battle, just to the west of Runway's Folly. Oh, he was the one who wanted vengeance. At least he got it before he died. That's good news, at least. Because I know Will died happy. Uh, Dirk Mudbrick was the guy behind Calder Cobb, who I guess couldn't hear our conversations. But, uh, maybe he didn't know. Let's assume the best of them. I mean, he is dead, so we'll never find out, right? So let's just assume the best of them. What do you need? Yeah, because he was at the sheep sheep farm. I think he was betrayed, honestly, by Calder Cobb. And what a shame, you know, he was so close to him, I'm assuming, because they were at the same post, right? Greetings. Uh, and there it is, that item I mentioned, the novice's mark. Perfect. Let's equip it. Gives us a run speed boost. So that'll be great for us. And before I continue here, which I will, I do want to go into Greetown Town, because by the Boar Fountain, there is... Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, by the Boar Fountain, there is the VIP Rewards Vendor, which gives you a potion that removes... Uh, what was it? It removes item wear, so I don't have to worry about repairing my armor. <coughs> Another thing that it does is it... What's the other thing it does? Oh yeah, it increased your speed of crafting, so that'll help us quite a bit once we start doing crafting. I'm thinking of doing the Scholar uh, trade, doing the Scholar one, the Weaponsmith, and the, uh, what is it, Prospector. Those are the three I'm planning on going with, because I have other gear already on another character, so a Scholar will help us with buffs, and the other ones will specifically help us with weapons, which is something I don't have. I have a Tailor, Woodworker, and Forester, which pretty much allows me to get all the armor I could ever want, right? But as far as weapons, I prefer daggers to clubs, unless there's a good one. Uh, but I do have the Woodworker, just in case I want a club for my burglar. However, on this character, I have quite a few more options, so that'll be good for us. <laughs> and it looks like Nate died at the Hunter's Lodge. So, uh, yeah, while we're heading there, we are going to do the burying of bodies, because it seems good to do right now. Instead of waiting. There are two deeds to do in the Archer Vale as well. I did want to naval combat music, right? Because there's some good music in the Archer Vale. Why is it not playing? Maybe if I re-log the Archit Veil, vale, use it for play. Okay. Now it's playing. Perfect. This is the one of my favorite songs of the original game soundtrack. I don't know if it has a name, but it's basically played in the Archit Vale. I think it's only played in the Archit Vale, actually. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorites. It could be played elsewhere. Although I do not think that for And I got a level up too. That was nice. Uh, what were these? Damage over time and gambler's advantage. Let's go with that. Let's go with Gambler's Advantage. And this should allow me to shake off Daisy's stones and a few other things, so let's put that here. <coughs> the Gambler's Advantage is a critical if <coughs> hit enabler, and it's a bleeding strike. So that is extra great for us. Let's check on Will Wheatley. The only one who probably reveled in his death in his glorious final stand, right? 
not rather than the death of the purpose of his death. And there he is. Ugh, it's a nasty looking corpse. So we got all three dead body objectives. Which I guess is okay to leave alone for now. And I do not believe there is so the, the uh, NPC is named Wenda Cranesbill for the VIP rewards that she is not in Combe, she's in Breetown. So if you are a VIP, I would recommend you do exactly what I'm doing, which is to head into Breetown, and right by this place called the Four Fountain will be where your VIP rewards will be found. But we will get a little bit of a preview, of course, to Breetland. Sorry, not Bree Land, Bree Town. We are already in Bree Land. That's like the mega region of the map. But no, Bree Town, that's where we are. And I do have another box I can open now, too. What did I get? Anything? I don't think I noticed. Anyway. Will you give me a moment of your time, Wanda friend? For VIP rewards. Hello there. So let's use the subscribers jug. And another thing we get that is the most useful, I think, is town services. So I'm going to slot that over here to my right. And let's browse the shop and look through our things. But I want to lock, obviously, my uh, items. Thick padded shoes will be level 7. Oh, perfect. Okay, so there's two items I can equip already. That'll boost our stats. This is clearly evident. I mean, look at that. Very nice. Uh, I'll save the gray dyes. Padded helm. I'll lock it. Mushrooms, I'll lock, of course. Knives that are not useful anymore, I'll lock those. Map to the treasure field event, I should probably lock that too, right? Yeah, let's do that. Light hides, let's save the Athelus. I don't think I'm gonna be in need of power boosts, so I'm gonna sell those too. And the armor we have, Earring of the Dead City, which is from the Minon's Morgul purchase, I'll save that as well. And all of that should be perfect. Uh, max power, plus 95. Let's leave that. Let's actually do that one now. Tome of Defense, I'm going to save for later. One thing I do want to investigate is my vault. So let's put a few things in my vault, actually. I want to put cosmetic armors in there that I might not use yet. So let's leave those in the vault. I'm going to leave that in the vault. Let's go with these tracery boxes, because you can't really use traceries until you use the legendary items. And we'll get that at about level 50, if not slightly before. So let's put those in there. Uh, and continuing swiftness, I'll keep on me, obviously. Put the dyes in there as well, because I don't get that many of them. So I should probably store those away. Let's put attack damage in there too, and the Toma Defense, because I'll need those at some point, just not right now. And maybe not in the near future. Let's put these star fireworks in there, that's pretty cool. <coughs> Uh, treasure field map, let's put that in there too. Uh, I think that should be about... Oh, attack damage, another one. Put that in there. Let's put the keys in there, the steel keys. Uh, armor of the Elite Rider of the Hornbird Defender, I'll put those in there. Elite Rider has some cool stuff I might use. I'll leave these two down here. And I think everything else... Should be good for now. There was a furniture item. Oh, here it is. The beacon. Put that in there. Let's actually put these... I'll put all of the cosmetics in there. I have room, so I might as well, like, just fill it up as much as possible. So, let's do that. And... what else do I have? 
Uh, I think that's about it. Let's put the max morale boost in there, too. The swiftness ones I'm probably going to be using a lot, so I'll keep those in there. Let's put the Athelus and morale potions up in our top slot, so that way I can use them in case of an emergency. And the power ones, I'll put those up there, too, just in case I need them. I'll probably need them when it comes to the Great Barrow, but not before that. And as far as, uh, cosmetics, I should actually look at that real quick. I want to get, like, a cool cape, maybe. What do I have right now? There is one that I liked from Shadows of Angmar that I think I want to use. Uh, it's called Goladir's Mantle. You'll get it later, but, like, by the time you actually get it in the game, all of the charm of it, I think that it looks good with three outfits in general. Yeah, see? It looks good with any color of outfit you have in Bree land. Uh, do I have any cool little helmets or anything for Bree that would look okay? The height pulled knife. That would look good for a burglar, but not like with this outfit specifically. Uh, no, not quite. Any outfit head stuff? Circlet of men I'll get at a different level. Uh, I think we're good for now. We'll actually get a lot of that stuff, and when we get it, I think that'll be a good time to make the decision. But with that said, let's head back to Archit. And yeah, the sheep are dead also with their mud brick. That's not good. Hopefully a lot of the people in town have closed the last. Would you do something for me? Oh, that's another crafting intro. We'll get to crafting. I don't think they're really worth reading, obviously. So what can I do for you? Good, it is done. Those men died bravely and deserved a proper burial. Once more, Archid is in your debt. Now, before you leave, there is something I must tell you. A queer man came through Archid while you were away, and I believe he was looking for you. How can I be of service? Queer as in strange, not as in gay. He's not talking about... You know, he's using Lord of the Rings speech, like the Hobbits say. And also, like, people spoke for maybe, like, what, 40 years ago or something? I don't know. But, uh, in, in English, anyway. <laughs> Let's talk to, uh, Constable Thistlewool. There seems to be a quest about those boars I killed, and I did get a disease effect, so I think this is relevant. Could I speak with you a moment? Ah, oh, fine day to you. It's good to see the backs of the Blackwolds broken and peace settling over Archit once more. Now we can concern ourselves with less dire problems. Actually, you might be able to help with one of those problems if you are interested. There seems to be an illness spreading among the local boars, and a terrible affliction it must be, for the beasts are more hostile than normal. We really must put an end to this illness, and the only way is to slay those afflicted. Would you do this? Yeah, sure, why not? And at least Spiderbane, who helped us, seems to be injured. Look, he's holding his knee or something. Will you help me? Do not worry about me, Gorbson. It is just a minor wound I got in the fighting. Now that the Brackenbrook's father and son have driven the Black Rolls away from Archit, perhaps these folk can get to living their lives as they once did. Word has reached me, though, that there's a new threat to be dealt with. A nearby farm has been overrun with spiders, and the folk there have retreated to Argent. My injury prevents me uh, from dealing with the pests, but you have proven yourself a capable warrior, and should have no trouble. Look for the farmer here in Argent. You may know him already. His name is Cal Sprigley. So, the boars is, I guess, just a miscellaneous-like quest. Uh, what's this real quick? I missed this on the way in. Builder Era? Can I speak with you a moment? Working with wood has always been my trade, so I thought to put my hands to the rebuilding of Archit. I loaded up my tools and set out, but suddenly this mad boar came out of nowhere and overturned my cart. It was all my son Boren and I could do to make it here to Archit, and we had to leave the tools and the wreckage of the cart. If you head south to the gate that leads to Combe, you might be able to recover my toolbox. I'd really appreciate it, and the folk of Archit are sure to be better for it as well. The sooner I can get started, the sooner the town will be back to the way it was. Watch out for that boar, though. You might be able to get my toolbox without attracting his attention, but you'll need more luck than I have to manage it. And here's Cal. 
How can I be of service? There we were, ready to stand our ground against them black old villains when the monstrous spiders came pouring up from the cellar in the middle of the night. It seems hardly fair. Still, the spider bane sent you, it could be you'll be able to help us out. Our farm is due south of Bronway's Folly. If you can recover my seed bag from the pens and my strong box from the storage shed, we could make a new start of it. Oh, and my father's bow as well. Poor Henry was trying to kill some of the spiders with it. He was a good hand, but the spiders made quick work of the lad. Hurry back if you can, but with all the spiders around my farm, I don't see how you will. Maybe the brigands were, in a way, holding the spiders back. I guess we'll have to find that out for sure in a moment. But, uh, interesting how as soon as the black wolves are gone, all the spiders on the oldies path kind of got more resolved, I guess you could say. One thing I am going to do as well while I'm here is, uh, get some of the deeds in Archit done. There are specific deeds in the Archit Vale that... Oh, well, they aren't specific to it, but they involve it. And one of those is the Ruins of Winter Time. And that involves discovering Bronway's Folly and the Black Wolves Roost. And the other one is the uh, History of the Dunedine, which has one of their items in the Archit Vale. So I'm going to while I'm here. And this will be like a 100% playthrough, of course. So I am going to be doing all of the deeds that I can. <coughs> so here is the Bronway's Folly. Let's read what it says. <laughs> we should get the deed bestowed after this one. Yep, here we go. Little lore remains from the days of the North Kingdom, but it is said that these ruins are all that remain of a Cardolan lord's failed attempt to hold back the wrath of Angmar. So there were three kingdoms here. I mentioned Arnor before, of course. But Arnor was divided into three kingdoms. Rudar, which eventually became loyal to the Witch King, is up in the northwest here. Cardolan is like from here, like here, yeah, to all the way down here. And uh, Arthodine is like the Shire and Evendon in those areas. I also believe it is the North Downs. It's kind of confusing how they work themselves, but that's generally the rule of where they divided. And Bree Town is right in the middle of all three kingdoms, so the fact that it survived those wars is actually quite incredible. More than people would think, because it's in the center of all of the crossroads of the conflict. So maybe it was like a peace zone, but we don't really know anything about that. That would be... Maybe for like a show that's not made by Amazon, so I can actually trust that it would be covered respectfully. They could expand upon the lore in that way, but uh, currently, with the current institutions in Hollywood and filmmaking, I don't trust anybody to actually cover that on the on the big screen. But uh, let's see right now. Blackwold's Roost is another one. So once the abode of the men of Arnor, these ruins now host an unruly mob of outlaws calling themselves the Blackwolds. And over here is one from the history of the Dunedain, and is called an ancient Karn. In an ancient Karn, you can make out the faded symbols of the old Dunedain kings, inscribed upon it in places. So if you right-click on this, you'll unlock it for the history of the Dunedain deed. And I'm, there's some server lag, I think. How many people are on? Yeah, that's a lot of people. Definitely server lag. Uh, history of the Dunedain, the ancient Karn. The Karn is rather unlike many that the men of old built, but you recall the tale of old battle. In the time after the fall of Arnor while fighting these wars, uh, at the defeat of Angmar by the host of Gondor, a few men remained in the north. Those who remained loyal to the old kings banded together under the first chief of the Dunedain and became the forebears of the rangers who walk these lands today, or so it is rumored. Uh, in those days, there were still evil men and worse who walked these lands, and there was a battle few men alive today remember. Though the Dunedain were victorious, their numbers dwindled. The Karn you have found is most likely the resting place of the men who died in that battle, built hurriedly and in secret. Yeah, it is kind of tiny, but there's probably more buried under it than we can see in the area on the surface. So that was pretty cool. Get some extra lore drops. And that technically would 100% the deeds of the Archer Bay, because even though they're meta deeds that affect all of the land. The main objectives in the Argent Veil that you're going to get around here would be those. Even Spider Slayer, there are better places to do it. For example, the Midwater Marshes, or the Barrow of Tadan, I think it was called. Or Terradan, I don't know how long the name was anymore. But it's in the Barrow Downs, it's on the northern end, and that would be another place to kill spiders. That said, we are going to be killing quite a few spiders. 
about it now. As soon as I get one of these la later boars out of the way. And I'm going to want to sneak, which means I'm not going to upgrade my virtue points yet. Uh, not virtues, I mean my class trait points. I'm going to slot one, but I got to kill an enemy first. Before I do that. Good news is, I don't have to worry about the diseased effect now, because the bristle hides are dead. But, uh, I do have to- oh, I think I already got them. Never mind, I already got all my trade points, we're good. The main point of doing deeds is because of the bonuses of Virtue XP, and the passive bonuses also help you. So it's good to get as many as you can as you level throughout the game. Uh, and deeds also give you low trip points. They give you like... Uh, oops, I think I tapped my mic, sorry about that. Uh, but the deeds give you double benefit, uh, so by doing them, it is a really good thing. And I'm trying to 100% this game, so that would be helpful in two ways. It'll make it easier to 100% the game, and it's part of 100%ing the game. So even better for me, right? And this wolf doesn't seem to be And now it has been forced to go away. Oh, dead farmhand, jeez. Oh, that was... It doesn't say who the farmhand was. It was just one of them. Strange. Now let's go over here. I think there's the seed bag. Oh, there it is. Go and collect it. And Eber's toolbox is over by the entrance. I do not want to attract the attention of these boards or wolves, although I do believe this one will get mad at me. Yep, the mad bristle hide. There he is. Good news is there are two guards right here that you can just drive them into, and then you don't have to worry about fighting the mad bristle hide yourself, because they should one-shot them. See? That's a big help. Let's collect the little box. And head back to the town, before I'm sure Atlee will actually send us to further investigate the spider threat. And that is the only quest that remains in the Archit Vale. So once we get done the spider quest, that'll be the end of this episode, because I'm trying to 100% the Archit Vale. I might divide this into two parts in actual uh, post-production, but we'll see how it goes. I do kind of want to make these, you know, somewhat complete episodes. So if I divide it, it would only be if the intro zone, right, is like an hour, and then this part is an hour. Although I don't really think that that's how the time divides, so I'm gonna leave it alone, most likely. And put this all in one episode. Could I speak with you that a moment? One, another crafting intro. Dang, they have three crafting intros for the same zone. It's kinda strange. I get it, I'm gonna craft. Give me a moment. How can I be of service? You have my thanks, Gonson. Now Boren and I can get to work rebuilding this town. Take these coins for your trouble. So this is a Vector well, give quest me a to comb, time so friend. I'm gonna leave that, of course, because we'll get all the Vector quests to comb all at once. That's how I want it to be. How can I be of service? Ah, uh, oh, you've taken care of the poor blighted creatures. Every boar that has caught the foul plague will, in the end, have to be destroyed, but a few you've dealt with will slow the spread of the plague. Thank you. That's good. This a wolf's knife. Does not look that great, though, compared to the other items. So I'm going to equip it, because its stats are better. But the Hone Dagger does look better on my character, so I'll leave that the way it is. And why is it so dumb? Like, I, I don't understand. Why is it not letting me slot my weapons properly? I just want to do one thing correctly. There we go. The interface is kind of buggy. How can I be of service? It seems relatively new. <laughs> oh, can we talk to... What do you oh. need? I hope you can drive off those horrible spiders for good. We're decent law-abiding folk. Shouldn't have to put up with such troubles. Well, the spiders don't care about that, obviously. But Greetings. I'm glad I can help. 
This is everything we asked for, all right? My seed bag, strong box, and my father's trusty bow. I can't thank you enough, Gomson. And I must beg your pardon for treating you so poorly earlier. Had I known what was to become of my farm, I would have heeded your advice and retreated to Archer at once. I forgot he had the old voice in the intro, and I'm doing it for Brackenbrook. I'm using the voice in the intro, so I might as well do it for Cal as well. Uh, and retreated to Archer at once, saving ourselves a great deal of trouble. Poor Henry's life. Oh, that was the dead guy we found? Jeez. Still, I'm glad we can make a new start. Tell the spider Bane he has my thanks as well for sending him to us. Stay a moment. And spiders have ate my work hands and driven me and Holly out of our home. There's got to be some way to get them off our land. Uh, I would think that Outly Bane, Spider Bane might know more about spiders than I do. Yeah, that's a good idea, you know. Uh, what's his name again? Uh, the name of the guy who knows about spiders. Spider Bane. Yeah, that's a good point. Perhaps you should go speak with him again. We can't return home until those awful things are gone. What do you need? Well met. Good, you have returned. It seems that there is much more going on here than first I thought. While you were away, my cousin Bali arrived, and I sent him to search some caves of the ruins outside the east wall of Argent. A few of the hunters had dropped a huge stone in front of the cave, and I wanted him to ensure the stone remained. He has not yet returned, and I am worried. Now, from what you told me of Sprigley's troubles, the spiders came up through the cellar in his shed. Perhaps seeing the cave blocked off, they tunneled up through there. You won't know for certain, though, until you find Bali. Hopefully he'll have some answers. Good idea. Let's go find Bali. Not spider Bane. That's Atli's title. So hopefully the spiders did not kill him. But they very well might have. We don't know this. Sir. Uh oh. I think I was right. That must be him. Why do I always have to be right? That's a pain, right? We got Spider Slayer bestowed. You search Bally's corpse and find a journal with several pages missing. The journal text reads, I would not believe it, but the spiders had pushed the cave mouth clear. I have entered the cave and the spiders reacted to me instantly, as if drawn to me. I am unsure why. I spent my day carefully searching near the entrance only and found several corpses bound into cocoons. These spiders seem to wrap everything up into their cocoons. I will write more tomorrow when I go further into the cave. Perhaps it would be best to enter the cave and see if you can find the rest of the journal pages before returning to Atli. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. There's one cocoon. So that's kind of where we find the spiders. I mean, not spiders, the journal pages. As Bali has alluded. So this is page three. So I'm going to put them in order, obviously. So I'm going to not read page three until I at least have uh, page three. I think it would be a good way to go through this. So let's do it that way. Good news about being a burglar is that I don't have to fight every single spider I run into during this process. I can just sneak past most of them. So that'll save us some time, of course. Which is good for playthrough stuff as well. Page 4. It's not page 1 or 2. So let's keep going. There seems to be another cocoon up this way. Which one is this? Page one. Let's read page one. I've gone further into the cave today. There seems to be no end to the twists and the turns or the spiders in the area. I have done my best not to get lost, but I fear I already may be there. I still have no idea why the spiders are here. There are several larger, queen-like spiders here, but I do not think they are steering this brood. Oops. Uh, I will look more tomorrow, but for now, I have found a rock to sleep behind. I hope the spiders don't like the taste of dwarf. Okay, now, the next page. Oh, that's not good. Dumb spiders. This one is a good skill, it's called Riddle. <coughs> and it basically stuns enemies so you can get away or save some health and other stuff. So it's a big help. Uh, what I want to do is I want to head this way, right? Yep, there's the next cocoon. And that might be page two if we're lucky. And it looks like it is, nice. So let's read the rest of them that we have now. 
My third day in the spider-infested hole has come and gone, and I got no further today. I think I may have gone around in several circles since I found the rock I slept behind three times today. I'm not sure if this place has an end, but I found an interesting-looking cellar of some small supply shed. I peeked outside and found an overrun farm. That did not seem to be my answer either. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. I think I will spend the night in the cellar. It may be a little safer. I went back into the caves, but I had little more luck than before. I know I am missing a turn someplace that will lead me closer to the Queen's Nest and hopefully an answer to the spider's presence here. Uh, I suspect these are no ordinary spiders, for as even now I prepare to sleep, I deem I can hear whispered voices. Page 4. It is my fifth day within these dismal tunnels, and I am no closer to finding the Queen. I have no doubts, however, as to the intelligence of these creatures. They hunt me now day and night, though I elude them still. It is strange, but I believe I heard one of the beasts mention spider bane so they know who he is. Maybe that's why they came out of the cellar or something. Because they're trying to scare him off. Oh, that's a cellar. I think that's the shed, right? That's Wrigley's farm? Yeah, that's what that is. Uh, let's take the last cocoon. And it looks like it's this way. With a baby spider. Ooh, maybe this is the way to the queen they were looking for. I wonder if I can kill the queen ahead of time. Let's give it a shot. I will see. There is no doubt now these spiders and their queen here are for Atli spider bait. They seek to use me as bait for Atli. I will not give them that leverage. My axe will drink of their blood ere the night is through. I will not. <coughs> they must be dead. I had to cough. Perfect timing, right? Which means I'm going to end the whole thing after this one episode, if one episode it is. Now this is the actual cellar itself, and there are a few spiders sitting around, but I think this is the way to the queen, because of all the newborns. And here we go. Hey, your knife. Time to mm. die. <laughs> I may not actually unlock my critical hit in this fight. What a shame, but hey, we won. Now this will take us out where... Oh, perfect, that's Wrigley's farm. But you can't go back in that way. So that actually was his house. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it did look like a kitchen or dining room or something. And then the cellar, of course, the entrance was through the shed over there. Oh, that's cool. Um, now, what did I get from that? I don't think I got a quest, did I? I got the Ornite's head, and the head of the Ornite, which starts the quest in spider Man. So let's open that. The Brood Queen is far more fearsome than any spider you have come across before, and seems to be manipulating many of the events around Archit. The Dwarf Atli is known as the spider Bane. He would likely want to see proof of the creature's demise. So, yeah, maybe that was the quest he would give us afterwards, but it seems we have the spider head. So no need to worry about reading it. I'm not that kind of a completionist. I want to complete the options available to my character, and I'm not going to be obsessive about other stuff, you know? So I think it'd be good to leave it that way. I think that should conclude the spider way, uh, the spider pain quest line, just because there's no reason to go back. So maybe that's how it works, we'll find out. Greetings! I cannot believe it, Bali, God, he must be avenged, and this journal, it tells me what is behind this spider queen from the Blue Mountains. She and her brood must have followed me from Thorin's Halls. Know this, even if I am slain, she will never leave this place. She has found easy prey here. We must destroy her, or Archer shall become a new abode for the Queen and her spawn. Well, not anymore. I killed the Queen. So, unless they elect a new one, should be good for now. And what do these shoulder guards look like? They actually look pretty good. I'm gonna equip them over these goofy looking red ones, I think. They look a little bit better. Well met. This uh, spider queen, your knife by name, and her ways are known to me. You have done the people of this town many great services, this one not the least of all. Was she allowed to endure it as likely all the peoples of Breland might have suffered her spawn? Take a quick perusal of these items I have, for you have earned your pick of them. Uh, your knife's guard. Again, not really a good looking helmet for a burglar, so I'm just gonna equip it and keep the helmet off on my cosmetics for now. 
I don't think it, it looks more like a town guard, which I'm not trying to be as a burglar. Even though I do look pretty cool in this. But, uh, anyway, that's cool. So with that said, I am going to accept John Brackenbrook's quest now. Because these are going to be the vector quests that take me to Combe. So, here's the question. Should I leave them on a cliffhanger and enter Combe without doing them? Eh, I suppose they're in Orges, so I should accept them here, right? They're vector quests. What do you need? So I'll do them here. Or accept them, not do them. I'm not going to finish it. The man who came through the village, he reminded me of Strider in his behavior, and he was looking for the hero of Argent. I can only assume that he spoke of you. He said that the matter was most urgent. And that if I saw you, I was to direct you to the Comb and Wattle Inn, where he will be waiting for you. The Comb and Wattle Inn is in the center of Comb, to the south. Ah, the place that was blocked off before, right? During the Black Bolt attack? You seem most grim to me. I will travel to Comb immediately, and speak with the innkeeper, Elizabeth Honeymead. She should know where to find this man. What can I do for you? Elizabeth runs a fine establishment in Comb. Head there now and speak with her. Too bad I got no skill with a blade. Make short sure work of that mad boar, I would. Will you give me a moment of your time, friend? Supplies in Archit are limited and will certainly not suffice to repair the damage wrought upon the village. Now that I have my tools, I will be able to begin shoring the fences and repairing the buildings where I can. Archit will need more lumber if it is to recover completely from this attack. <coughs> Sorry. If you find yourself in... Comb, to the south, seek out Taylor Green and let him know that I will need another order of wood from the lumber yard. If you've not been there before, the Comb lumber yard can be found by following the road south, pass through the gate toward Comb, and follow the road east up the hill. It will bend softly to the northeast towards the Chetwood. There, in a soft dip before the North Chetwood, you should find Taylor Green. My character will remember that. I will not, because I'm going to go to sleep probably after this. What time is it? It's like midnight right now? So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Actually, I'll go to work after this. I'm gonna go to sleep when I get home. That's actually more accurate. Accurate. I went to sleep at 12 and woke up at, that be 8 p.m. now? So, uh, my voice is definitely raspy. Just because it's like just waking up. And then I have a long day of work ahead of me as well, so that'll be fun. Not really, but, uh, hey, I get money. So it's perfect. I don't get money doing this. I do this because I love you guys and I love this game. And I've been trying to get back to it for a long time now. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work out the way that I would want it to, but, uh, you know, it happens. I did disable combat music, by the way. I'm gonna let these guys take care of him again. <laughs> nice. So I think I'm going to leave it here in the town of Combe. And we'll start gaining progress in the town of Combe once I get back. So I'm going to set... I'm going to not set my mouse on yet, actually. But I will in the next episode. So let's turn around at the camera, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to leave a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more World of Thrones online videos. Thank you for watching, everybody. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.